will tell you a story about one of us. The Great Book of Nature is open at another chapter. You're going to learn all about the crab. Come on, come on. <laughs> That's it. That's good. Very good. Well, how did I do? Five seconds better than last time. What's the big hurry, dude? I'm training so I can be as fast as the yellowfin and the squid. Don't like to delude yourself, Pipsqueak. I'm faster than all of you. <laughs> Anyone can brag like that, but it's actions that count. I'm the champ of Sharkville. No one has ever beaten me in a speed race. Well, the squid and I are the unbeaten champs of the coral reef. We can beat anyone. Hey, you chaps, come along. We're going to the village. What are we going to do there? Like, what's all the rush, dudes? Steven Pronberg's showing this new film. What's it about? The fastest fish in the world. You'll be able to learn their technique. Save yourself the trouble. I'll always be number one. I wouldn't be so sure if I were you. It's worth seeing. Listen, dude, I'll like tag along enough you know, and make you happy, but it's not going to change anything. If we held a bragging contest, Char could win. You can say that again. <laughs> now I want you boys to watch the film carefully. So that we can improve our times. All right! Yeah, all right. You'll still be minor league compared to me. Pride comes before the fall, I'll have you know. Fall, Schmall. I'll prove I'm fastest any time you like. I don't believe that shark's for real. He'll get his comeuppance. <laughs> Here we are, almost there. A group of mollusks is waiting to see the film as well. All set, Mr. Good. Dinosaur! Then let's begin. Turn on the monitor. There, that's the dolphin. Observe how it uses its tail. Talk about effortless. That's poetry in motion. And this is the marlin, power personified. What power? Give me a break. This is a flying fish. Observe its elegant leaps. Oh, wow. Oh, right. <laughs> yeah, right. I can beat that bunch with my eyes closed. That sounds like Envy talking to me. Me, envious of those sea snails? Listen, Pipsqueak, if you think you're so fast, challenge me to a race, why don't you? Oh, yes! A race! A race! <laughs> sounds good to me. Establish the time and place, and I'll film it. Me and my big mouth. But it's too late for me to back down now. I'll compete, too, so you won't have to go it alone. <laughs> oh, so you two are the competition, huh? <laughs> Before we start, let me give you a little taste of what you're up against. Oh, no! Hmm. 
<laughs> Pretty impressive, huh? <laughs> Want to just forget you it? You don't scare me. I'm going to win. What? You dare challenge me, you whip? We're both going to challenge you. <laughs> You'll never live it down. Quit while you're ahead. <laughs> you think you can beat you me? You bet we can beat you. We're faster than you. What? You two are faster than me? Is there an echo around here? A meeting between the contestants, laying down the ground rules, I presume. Oh, Mr. Turtle, it's terrible. I just painted myself into a corner. How do I get out of this? Just use all the legal means at your disposal to win. Huh? Legal means? I don't get it, Mr. Turtle. Can you spell that out for me? What I'm trying to tell you is use every inch of the track, and when your strength runs out, use your head. Hey, you old dudes should be impartial. What are you cooking up? If you think he's trying to help me, it just shows how paranoid you are. Don't make me laugh. You're going to eat my dust till you choke on it, dude. Well, while we're on the subject, try this, wild mouth. <laughs> <laughs> he asked for it. That's lesson number one. Watch out! Look! He's coming back! Oh dear. He looks very, very upset. You'll pay for that. Come on, let's get it over with. Running you two salt heads into the sand is gonna make my day. <laughs> Very well, as an official starter, I ask the competitors to line up, please, for this impromptu Coral Reef Grand Prix. I want a clean race with no low blows. Anyone who breaks the rules will be automatically disqualified on the spot. Good, everything seems to be in order. Ready, Mr. Crab? Ready, Mr. Turtle, sir. On your marks. Get set, go! Well, Mr. Shark, what's the matter? I said go! Relax, dude. I'm giving him a head start to make it interesting. If you don't take the race seriously, I'll disqualify you, understood? <laughs> I'm having trouble concentrating. Uh oh, here he comes! Faster! Faster! <laughs> huh? Shark. They should be disqualified. All right. Come on, it's not over yet. What's up, snail faces? You guys in a slow race? Dudes, catch up with me if you can. <laughs> Didn't you want to teach me a lesson? You're the ones who said you could win. Hey, Slowpokes, check this out. might have saved the day. All mythical, but very effective. Why don't you dudes save your energy and throw in the towel? <laughs> Maybe he's right. I'm getting tired. Never 
actually die. Do you have an idea? Keep your fins crossed. Oh, wow. It's like so boring being up front on my own. Come on, dudes. They're right up there with him. Maybe they'll do it. Yes. Oh, so don't like that shark. Show me what you're made of. A one shark race is no fun. I'll wait for you. Whatever your idea is, it better be good. It's all Mr. Turtle's doing. You mean he helped you? No, he you... just told me to use my head. I'm gonna fall asleep at this speed if they don't catch up with me soon. The race hey. isn't over yet. Woo. Not by a long hey. shot. Come on, come on. tell you about the time I broke the record in the South Pacific Marathon? <laughs> you want to see my acrobatics? Darlings, what's going down? Welcome back, Stephen. What's the buzz? The race is heating up. <laughs> They're just about to reach the Coral Reef Labyrinth. Catch up with them and film the action. This could be a classic. If it's not, you can bet your gills I'll make it look like one. Nothing escapes the camera's eye. There they are, Manny. Go for it. Looking good, guys. Keep it up. Now for the wide angle from the pace setter's POV, Manny. Steven Pronberg. If you're like here to immortalize the winner, it's me you want. I'm the star of this show. Get a load of the speed and class. Huh? Oh, a dreaded coral reef. There, kid. Look focused. Give me the glass. What's going on? What's going on? Hey, we're in front. Who's winning, Mr. Mr. Turtle? Who's, Who's winning? winning? More like an obstacle course in a speed race. Oh, huh. oh no! Take us up to the head of the race, Manny. Thank heavens I'm out of that coral maze. Hey, have you guys fallen asleep? if you want to be in the movie. <laughs> Hold it right there. I need a close-up full of inner tension. Love it. Okay, Manny, let's go. Let me take another look. Are they still bunched up together? That's 
is on. I can see the shark and the squid, but there's no sign of the yellowfin. Very odd. Did you find the yellow fin? No, we found no sight of him. It's impossible. He can't have disappeared. We looked in every nook and cranny on the reef. He's vanished into thin air. We can only hope nothing bad has happened to him. I bet it's the shark. Hey, hey, here comes a winner. Roll out the red carpet. Polish the trophy. Alert the press. Here comes number one. Flex those muscles, Squiddy Boy. Thank you. <laughs> huh? Hey, where's the camera? Aren't you gonna like film me as I cross the finish line? <laughs> huh? That's no fair. Where the heck did he come from? Go on, go on, Mai. Go on, Mai. Come on. Hey, stop, you little cheater! I had this race sewn up. There's no way you could have won it without cheating. You're wrong. I beat you fair and square because I was smarter and faster than you. That's impossible. You can't have been faster than me, you little squirt. You're just a bad loser, that's all. You're the judge, Mr. Turtle. I'm submitting an official complaint. All we have to do is screen the film, Mr. Turtle. You're right, an action replay. Come along, we'll screen the film, then I'll reach a decision. We're going to use modern technology to solve this dispute. Satisfied, Mr. Shark? <laughs> God darn it, how did you do that? It was simple, actually. You were swimming so fast that all I had to do was get into your slipstream, and I was dragged along at your side. I used my fins once in a while to stay on course. Then, just before the finish line, I gave it all I had and surged oh. past you. Oh. There are many ways to win a race. He used his head. Ah, uh, here! I'll never live this down. Well, I know it will make you feel better, but it's not winning that counts, but participation. Thanks that doesn't why. change the fact that the shark lost. And the yellow fin is our champ. Oh, yes. Hooray for the winner of the first coral reef trophy! Huh? My compliments, young elephant. Your unexpected victory will serve to give all the members of the small fish community new hope in the knowledge that intelligence can win the day over brute force. Thank you, sir. Well, I'm out of here. They're screening my film at the Cannes Fish Festival. Ciao. Bon voyage. Thank you, Mr. Crawford. Without your film, 
My victory would always have been in doubt. You were sensational, kid. I'm gonna make you a star. I'm proud to be the new champ's friend. And that's what counts the most, friendship. The crab. How is the crab classified in the animal kingdom? The crab is a crustacean of the Decapita order and of the Brachiura suborder. They have a very large shell which covers their entire back. Their first pair of legs is modified into well-developed pincers. Their size varies greatly, from tiny species, smaller than a bean, to gigantic creatures found in the deep that can measure up to two and a half meters with legs extended. How many species are there and where do they live? There are 26 different families of Brachiura, for a total of over 4,000 different species found worldwide. How do they live? Survival habits are very different among the various species. All of them, however, almost always stay in the water because they breathe through gills. How does it move? Crabs are known for their typical sideways scuttle. Many species are also able to swim. What do they eat? Taken all together, crabs can be considered omnivores. Generally, they are hunters and eat many species of water fauna, but they can also eat plants or dead animals. How do they protect themselves? In general, their defense is to hide by blending in with their surroundings. If attacked, they're very tough fighters, using their pincers as weapons. How do they relate to people? Not too well, considering that humans eat many of their species. Can they live in the city? Only in aquariums, designed for their survival needs. If you're too sure of yourself, sometimes you could end up a loser. Ha 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 ha! Oh, look who's coming! <laughs>